Welcome to Girl Scout Troop 798 video presentation series. In this series, we'll be reviewing the Troop Tracker and an introduction on how to log in to the system. The Troop Tracking software is what the Troop uses to record money, record badge information, and record meetings and events that are happening within the Troop. Once you've registered with the troop, the system administrator will send you an email with your login information. You will need to set a password the first time you log in. It's important to have an email and a cell phone number registered with the troop to get notifications through the system. To log into the system once you get the email, uh, the link will take you directly there and any time after that you can go to trooptrack.com. Let's review now how you would log in. Upon registering with the troop and providing your email address, the registrar will send you an email with your troop track login. It will look something like this. It will give you your username and it will give you a link to set your password. Click on the link and enter your password and enter it again. Once you log in it will default to your dashboard. You can do a few things from your dashboard. Um, if you go to uh, your name and go to choose a theme you can actually change the color of uh, your screens. So I'm going to um, change my theme here and now you'll see that it changed to a green color. So let's look at the dashboard first. Um, on the left hand side you're going to see three windows, an announcement window, profile info, and your household info. And on the right side you're going to see your itinerary or it's basically the things coming up, the calendar. So under announcements you can expand that and here you see we have one announcement that there's a deadline to register for the award ceremony coming up July 17th. In the profile you're going to see um, your current leadership positions, any money account you have connected to that name, and any training that you've had. In addition you can click on the profile link and that will take you to your profile detailed profile information to update that. We'll look at that here in a few minutes. And then your household will tell you all of the girls that you have in the troop. So this one is we have a Grace Smith and here we can also look at her pro profile. We can also record progress so if she works on badges at home you can actually record progress. Her leadership and this is where your money account that you'll pay for things um, will be connected to. So you'll see here that um, we have this one money account and it's got $32.50 in it and if we want to click on details so here you'll be able to see everything that was paid for if you click on by clicking on that details so you'll see that there was a thinking day patch purchased an Australia patch purchase and you can just look on down here powder puff and things but this will give you the details of everything about your account. Um, there's additional menu bars across the top. You can export it. You can search it. You can deposit additional funds to your account and um, you can do a quick switch which will just take you to different accounts. More than likely most families will only have one. So if you want to go back to your dashboard you just click on the campfire up here at the top and it takes you to the dashboard again and then on the right hand side you're going to see the calendar of events coming up so you see the award ceremony and if we click the down arrow we're going to see more details and you're going to see that you've not replied so uh, Linda and Grace Smith um, do not have an RSVP to that yet and then um, there's also the cadet senior planning retreat so let's look at just how to RSVP to an event you can click on the RSVP. Before we do that, let's look at the details. We can click the details and it will tell you more information uh, about the event, what the cost is, the start and end time. If there's a flyer, that will be linked there as well. 
uh, in more details when the permission slips do things like that you also be able to see who is going and who's not going and you will be able to RSVP right here so you can click the RSVP you can say Linda Smith is not going going possibly going and then how many additional youth additional adult guests so these would be people that aren't registered so if you have siblings coming then you could add to that and put a note okay and do the same thing with grace so let's go back to our dashboard again um, and then you can also in the calendar you can click on the calendar and you can see things coming up you can pick a specific month so if we want to look at what all is going on in August select August select the go button and here you're gonna see we've got a PA training coming up we've got an award ceremony cadet senior ambassador and leader planning retreat and semester dues let's go back to our home page again or our dashboard and let's look at the profile so if you click on your profile there's a few things here that you can update um, so you can update a profile picture this is your profile information uh, let, there's tabs across the top here achievements participation settings leadership money training vehicles privileges and files so uh, you can update your profile picture by adding one basic information which is your uh, name and birth date uh, driver information you can click edit and update that contact information your households who all is in your household registration information and notes uh, one of the things you might want to look at is the settings so in the settings it will you can get notifications sent to you you might want to look through these and see what type of notifications you might want or not by default they're all turned on so you might want to look at that if you want to change your username you can change your account info and um, actually just change it to whatever you want so maybe I just want Linda Smith and I don't want the number two on there you also can send uh, get product notices about the troop track software that's not specific to the troop it's specific to the product so you may not want that so if you don't want that you're gonna uncheck that and you can subscribe to our newsletter that we're going to start doing and also you can send copies of all emails sent to your primary and secondary email addresses so uh, we'll go over that because some people may want like a work address and a home I mean a work email and a home email and you might want the emails that we send out sent to both so you could click that and click Save so let's go find the, where the emails are so those are going to be in your contact information if you click edit on that you're going to see here where you have an opportunity to enter a secondary email as well as as well as work phones and home phones cell carriers important if you don't have your cell carrier picked um, selected here then you will not get text messages so it's important to go in the first time and set your cell carrier click the save button um, so another one you might want to look at is the vehicles so if you want to add any person that drives we have to have your vehicle registered uh, with the troop so here you can add new vehicles by clicking the new vehicle selection up here in the upper right hand corner and completing the form whether it's got a trailer hitch it does it have seat belts uh, the max passengers those type of things and you can click save on that participation is another one that you'll be able to see if you've participated in any events those will all be listed so let's go back to the dashboard and let's look at your daughter's information so you can click the profile there and the same you can see all the information about her you can see any training leadership participation and achievements okay that's just a little bit about um, the troop track software uh, you'll see that there's lots of other uh, menu items that you can click through and look at you also have the bell here which are your notifications so that's just a little bit about how to get logged in a little bit of navigation watch our additional videos that we will be going over how to pay for an event um, you'll want to watch that video 
And then in addition, we'll be going over how to find um, documents and files that you might want to look at.